What's up, my dudes? Happy Monday, December 4th, 2017. Uh, it is now the... Oh, well, it's nighttime. <laughs> it's 11-ish. Uh, just got back from having some Ichiran ramen for dinner and taking a look at some stores to look at some clothes and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, another not-so-great day, to be honest. Uh, not the greatest Monday I've ever had in my life. Um, but I'll try to keep this video short because there's uh, not too much to talk about this time. But um, what I wanted to uh, go over, I guess, is um, a little bit about uh, what I talked about with uh, some of the people at the Big in Japan screening. So um, there was a there was a period available for audience questions. Um, I kind of like struggled with uh, should I ask it or should I not? Um, I already knew I was going to kind of have a long lead in because hey, I'll, I'll tell you the, what, the question. Basically, I was going to say, number one, I am also named David. So as a fellow Dave, I have a lot of respect for you. Um, <laughs> arbitrary, I know, but I have a lot of respect for at least like um, what you're doing. Like I could identify with him because I also grew up pretty pretty nerdy. I think a lot of my friends, um, some of my friends would feel the same way about me as they did about, as people like Dave's friends felt about him. Um, one of the sayings that really resonated with me or I felt really empathetic about was, oh, you know, like, uh, we would say, oh, that's just a Dave thing or like that, there goes Dave, you know, like, I almost feel like that's kind of, um, especially when I was younger, that was kind of something that, I wasn't too sure how I felt about. So, and I mean, that, that leads into, you know, the low self-esteem or the self-consciousness, of course. <clears throat> so I was going to say that, like, hey, like, I really respect you for uh, doing this. And I wouldn't, I, you know, am, I'm not trying to be a YouTube star necessarily or like, I don't know what exactly I'm doing with the videos besides documenting myself. But, um as someone who does want to create content or does want to do something like this in the future, you know, I really um, have respect for that. And I wouldn't do anything as crazy as you would, but, you know, just just letting you know that I empathize. And for Ladybeard, you know, I met him in L.A. I was going to tell him, hey, like, it's I'm really glad to see that you're doing great. Um, and seeing your role in the movie, especially with uh, you detailing your emotions, as like not Lady Beard and kind of behind the scenes really really touched me. And so my question to everyone would be um earlier this summer I was in a situation where I lost my job. Um my visa was in jeopardy unless I got a new job or a new sponsor basically. <clears throat> and I wasn't sure what to do. I came to the to the final decision of do I keep fighting for the dream of staying in Japan, even though I have no idea what like value that would give me? Or do I just go back home where everything will be a lot easier? Everyone speaks English, the job market's better, the pay is better, um, I'll be able to survive, live better, really. It's not even surviving at that point. So um, that's what I wanted to ask all of the four panelists uh, yesterday. And... Um, when I got the chance to talk to Ladybeard, he actually did say, you know, that's a really good question. And yeah, I've gone through stuff like that. Um, and he actually told me that what he would do is he would actually write down pros and cons, you know, of the situation. And that's really great because actually, I forgot where I picked this up from. I think it was from, uh, man, it's from, it's from one of the big guys that I keep listening to slash reading, like James Altucher, Tim Ferriss, Jocko Willink. Uh, uh, Noah Kagan. Um, too many, too many of the name off the top of my head right now. It was, it was explicitly an exercise in hey, uh, you need to, you need to actually write this down. Like, not, not just imagine it or whatever. Like, take a, take a piece of paper or a whiteboard. And in this case, I'll show you guys. Um, break it up into four quadrants. So what are these four quadrants going to be? So, so say, um, I actually did this for when I asked myself if I should break up with my ex-girlfriend or not. And I mean, it's a pretty personal thing. And, um, 
I, I don't want to exactly use that example right now, but like if I were to make a hypothetical and say, you know, what are what are the uh, what do I ask myself in the case of do I stay in Japan or do I go back home? So quadrant one is going to be pros of staying, and then quadrant two is cons of staying. Quadrant three is pros of going home, and then quadrant four is pros of oh no is cons of going home. So I'm gonna write that down. And since I since I completely live in the digital age, my handwriting is god awful now. But as you can see, I've broken it down. So we got our four quadrants. So we've got it's interesting because you actually have the double positive and the double negative, but you also split it into the two different choices. So you're not just evaluating it based on oh like which choice is good or bad necessarily. Like it's it's not just what are the pros of staying and then what are the pros of leaving. It's it's all four, because what you want to understand is you got to write you got you know you write down everything. Like in pros for staying, I would say at the time it was um, like I have a girlfriend here. It's always been my it's always been my dream here. Um, I would be continuing my goal of two years here. I have a lot of friends here, strong network, a lot of potential. Um, I learned a lot about what I could do kind of as a sole proprietor or an entrepreneur here, and I really wanted to try that out. The other pros are like, you know, just Japanese-related things, like uh, Japan's really safe, um, it's really clean, convenient. Uh, there's a lot that I like about living in Tokyo. But for cons, you know, I would say stuff like the language barrier really hinders me. The, um, like, society is not exactly... Uh, I mean, I'm not, like, the most the most open and warm American, but uh, so, so, like, at least in Tokyo, it's a little bit colder. It's a little harder to um, assimilate and adjust. Um, of course, that's something like I've talked kind of like back and forth about this, but um, that that's one of the co possible cons. Um, and, you know, another one might be something like uh, salaries are all lower. You know, you have to list everything, everything that matters, you know, and don't take anything as like superficial because it all kind of matters. You, you weigh it later. And then when it comes to pros for leaving, it's, um, you know, I get to see my family again. I have a new newborn niece. Uh, a lot of my a lot of my friends are here. Um, pay will be better. Most likely career development will be better. Um, it'll be easier. English language. Uh, have my car again etc you know stuff like that and then cons would be and you know just the amenities of living in in the united states such as like i don't know online banking a lot of services online etc but the cons for going back would be you know kind of like giving up on my dream um uh what else would there be like uh living with traffic again um some people like a lot of people keep telling me like oh why i wouldn't live in america guns i understand uh, that's, that's, I don't want to get into this big uh, debate about about guns and gun control. Um, I just know for a fact that where where I would be living in the states, it's not that big of a deal, regardless. So I mean, like, but I I will admit, like Tokyo and Japan being one of the safest places in the world. Okay, kind of like no contest, right? But anyway, like you you go through this exercise and you explicitly write down everything. And it's not just a matter of like which one is numerically better, which you, you could do. Like the more lines you write in one, the more it's weighted, sure. Um, but this is meant to be a way for you to see, you know, to take a look at it and really be like, oh, well, um, yeah, that's that makes a lot more sense, you know. Then it makes it a lot easier to choose. Um, when it came to choosing to stay or not, like I, I definitely said I was going to stay because I, I felt like going back home would have been, it's not, it wasn't the easy way out necessarily, but it would have been giving up. And then sadly I did actually admit that it would be a huge pain in the ass to move everything back already. <laughs> I haven't even fully unpacked from the last time I was in the States. Like I have clothes just sitting there. It's really dumb. But, um, Oh, there's a truck outside. But um, that's, you know, I had my reasons for staying and why I didn't want to go back home. I didn't actually use this to determine if I should go home or not. I actually did use it to determine if I um, would stay with my ex-girlfriend or not. 
Um, but ironically, I actually kind of wrote it after like I did the deed. Um, and that's a story for another time. But um, yeah, this is, I mean, it's it's really interesting how a lot of these tips that I do read are, are somewhat like intuitive or like, oh, that's common knowledge. You know, like, oh yeah, no shit. Like write it down on a piece of paper and it makes it easy, right? Then actually fucking do it, you know? Like um, <laughs> one of the worst things I ever heard back in college from one of, my, one of my roommates was like, oh, did you know that this, this, and this, and this is how you prevent procrastination? He's like, oh yeah, but everyone knows that. Well, like if everyone knows it, then like why do they still do it the wrong way you know like why do why does everyone still procrastinate why does everyone suck at this or you know like it's it's really shitty because sometimes we don't realize how debilitating we make our own lives or like how we kind of um put ourselves in the bad habits so um this was a really cool like exercise and like hey like what's you know what kind of decision should i make i'm at a crossroads what should i do and so the next time you're at a uh you're you're in some sort of position where you need to make a significant decision um consider trying this out you know weigh the pros and cons of uh, of both decisions and see where it puts you maybe it'll give you some more clarity of mind maybe it'll help you um understand a little bit more about why you have these decisions to make so that's uh that's today's episode of the do change uh video podcast audio experience show daily thing um fuck yeah see you in the next one peace out